Hello and welcome to Sat TV Week, your source for all the latest news and analysis from the satellite sector, sponsored by Proactive International PR. I'm Hannah Sinclair, and here are the top stories making headlines this week. Let's start with SES, which has extended its partnership with Sky through a multi-year contract renewal for satellite capacity from SES's Prime Video neighborhood at 28.2 to 28. 0.5 degrees east. Under this agreement, SES will continue providing capacity to deliver satellite channels to SkyQ subscribers in the UK and Ireland. The agreement also extends SES's backup services for Sky until the end of 2027. Next, Marning released its latest global maritime cyber threat report, detailing how cyber criminals are evolving their tactics. The report reveals increased malicious activity in 2024, with threats like command and control attacks and more sophisticated botnet strategies. Phishing remains a top method used by attackers. Marning's Security Operations Center actively monitored over 1,800 vessels, including cargo ships, super yachts, and cruise ships, helping to safeguard these assets from evolving cyber threats. In a transformative collaboration, the Mobile Satellite Services Association and the GSMA have teamed up to push the boundaries of mobile technology. Together, they aim to integrate direct-to-device and Internet of Things services via Mobile Satellite Services satellites based on 3GPP standards. This partnership seeks to create systems connecting terrestrial and non-terrestrial networks, enhancing global connectivity for consumers and enterprises, the goal is to scale satellite communications efficiently. On the planetary defense front, European Space Agency's HERA mission was successfully launched aboard a SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket. HERA is en route to study the asteroid Demorphos, which NASA's DART mission impacted in 2022, in humankind's first asteroid deflection test. HERA will gather data on the asteroid's mass and structure, turning DART's experiment into a well-understood planetary defense technique. This mission marks a key advancement in protecting Earth from potential asteroid threats. Finally, ST Engineering iDirect has unveiled Intuition, its next-generation, cloud-native, software-defined ground system for multi-orbit environments. Intuition is set to revolutionize how satellite networks are deployed and services delivered, the platform is designed to drive growth while streamlining operations for satellite operators and service providers. Customers can begin testing Intuition's capabilities ahead of its full release in 2025. That's all for this week's edition of SAT TV Week, sponsored by Proactive International PR. Thanks for tuning in to catch the latest developments from the satellite sector. Tune in next week for more updates and insights. I'm Hannah Sinclair. And until next time, stay connected.